a heartly welcome to all of you first of all subscribe our channel jyotish khar and press the bell icon on the right hand side for latest videos so that and so that any new videos or any new ideas should come to in your inbox friends today we are going to discuss a very crucial topic that is what do empty houses in a kundli or horoscope mean friends an empty house means a house that does not any planets inside that means generally means that there are no planets or no nodes in the house so it means there are no planets nodes asteroids points or other celestial bodies in the house so there are lots of myths among people that empty house some impact on your life many empty houses in a birth chart indicate that a person's need to concentrate just on one and two specific areas in life so today i am going to tell you about the empty houses empty houses second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and ninth tenth eleventh means what is the impact what do you understand when there are no planets in that houses so just take your kundli in front of you we start to demonstrate you please listen this video until end because listening is very important to understand the concept of vedic astrology so let's start with second house so friends this one is the house number first and this is the house number second so if this house is vacant means there is no planets in that case such a person whose kundli is this would find it easy to set off on trip leaving most of his belongings behind him so this is the second house so move to third house this one is the third house so the third house means what if there is no planets then communication and and short distance travel dealing with relatives are undertaken enthusiastically and impulsively by the native means native here whenever whenever i uh, intimating you native words it means you now move to fourth house what does fourth house means the native means the person whose kundli is this of the birth chart is like to be a good hostelier now move to sixth house i have left fifth house i will tell you at the end now move to sixth house this if this block is empty then work and health concerns are treated with sensitivity and protectiveness the subject would be happier working as a fashion model and a hairstylist so if you have 6th house is vacant then you have you can have or you may have hairstylist attitude and you can be a fashion model now move to 7th house this one is the 7th house so when this house is vacant there is no planets in that case partnerships because this house represents partnerships and relationships so partnerships and relationships are not vital but remember but become important when treated with pride loyalty and attachment when formed with group activities and long lasting friendships so this is about the 7th house now let me talk about 9th house this one is the 9th house so the native the person who has this kundli would have would love to travel for business means he he like to do business foreign travel religion philosophy are given importance by the person of the chart means those those person who has a ninth house vacant in that case he have the attitude of foreign travel religion philosophy and business now comes to 10th house the 10th house denotes the person loves to travel widely and also enjoys leisure more than work means leisure pleasure and materialistic things are very crucial as compared to their work they enjoy most of the time in enjoyment scenario not liking to do work now move to 11th house what does mean by 11th house if there is no planets in that house then the native more likely needs a few close friends rather than a fondness of a group activities with lots of people 
so if your 11th house has no planets it means that you have a reserve attitude you have very few friends and you do not like to gather a huge a group and a huge uh, friendship now friends what there are a few myths about the especially fifth house and the seventh house what are the myths people thinks that if the fifth house fifth house is vacant and the seventh house house is vacant in that case he or she has the problem of children and the relationship i would like to clear it to you that if the empty fifth house it means the person the native would not have children it's often due to choice yes this is due to choice and if the native cannot have children it's often due to not feeling as if they can handle it so handling pressure and their choice because this can lead to happen but doesn't mean that empty fifth house means you don't have a children so remove this mental philosophy from your mind so please take medical advice also if you don't have a children in that case too so now now what an empty seventh house can mean it means the native is easy going like a playboy with any rules of relationship their partner may devise in other words they are flexible in serious relationships first point and the second point is what they can get into or stay out of relationships like a breakup situations you can see it's a choice whether they commit or not there is no pressure to be a desire to partner so many empty seventh house natives fall into a serious relationship contract and other house related themes so this is all about the empty houses i have just discuss with you friends i request you to please subscribe our channel share our videos share our uh, so share our uh, channel so that more and more people come to us and come to know what is the vedic astrology that's why we have started this communication in english medium for those people all over the world who do not understand vedic hindi so i thought we thought that we should introduce a concept in english so that people can understand easy and lucid manner so i am trying we are trying a very simple way to present the themes to you in front of you i think this is all for the day we will soon meet and uh, we have lots of stuff in our inbox please join and subscribe us thank you and so much